I don't believe that one can practice anarchism in this society. I believe it would be utterly illusory to contend, say, that a, a food co-op can replace general, <laughs> you know what I mean, a uh, grand union, or that uh, a so-called people's bank, to use a concept of Proudhon, who is supposed to have been an anarchist, could replace Chase Manhattan. Nor do I think that one can go around living a holier-than-thou ethical life, you know, that uh, essentially uh, amounts to an ongoing guilt trip against other people. I find that it is basically impossible to live a thoroughly anarchist life within a capitalist society. But I do believe this, that one can try to maintain a high ethical standard. And that is one of the beautiful things about anarchism, that it brings ethics into socialism instead of mere science into socialism, such as Marx does. That one can live an ethical life. One can concern oneself personally with what is humane and what I would prefer to call libertarian behavior. One can protest and one can try to work with projects in which people learn how to take control of their lives even if in fact they can't do so until there are fundamental social changes. Those are the commitments, I believe, that anarchism seriously poses to the individual. And it raises a very high standard. It is demanding in that respect. It demands that you search into what is a humanistic sensibility and what is a humanistic ethic. Stop.